now it is uh, forest uh, resources and forestry practices of china it is the first example or first representation of asia and uh, here uh, we have uh, all the discussions as in earlier uh, cases uh, like physical regions then uh, forest types and then uh, forest uh, species then forest based industries right and as we know china is the land of contrast as in similarly in india also uh, diverse vegetation type is found here uh, as uh, i'm talking about physical features uh, actually or uh, it has mountain peaks up to 8000 meters above sea level uh, and then vast cold deserts also less green rain forests uh, large human population and uh, about 4000 year old civilization right besides the vast alluvial plains drained by rivers wangho and yangtze kiang a major portion of china is mountainous and the bulk of china falls in the north of the tropics tropics of the cancer and uh, it is coupled with the absence of protective mountain ranges like in india north china experiences severe winters as it is uh, towards the tundra region of this siberia or russian region as discussed in earlier topics right here uh, the climate is monsoon type with bulk of rainfall falling in the late summers heavy rainfall uh, is found or reported in south part where there is no month is without rain summers are quite hot and particularly in alluvial plains right physically china is divided into three divisions and these are here southern china it is represented by sikiang then central china it is represented by yangtze kiang river basin and then northern china okay it is represented by huanghou plains and santung plateau right now i am talking about forest types and uh, china has rich diversity of plants Uh, as in india there are over 20000 seed plant species with more than 2000 genera and 300 families all with 3000 tree species right there are about 30 genera of pinaceae and toxidaceae and uh, in the world of which 20 are occurs in china the living fossil ginkgo biloba is uh, still grown wild in china right besides these a number of exotics have become natu- naturalized in china also and these are pinus iliotai cedrus devdara texodium distinctum then casia saimia then sweetenia macrophylla and various others also right uh, then we have uh, vegetation zone in china and dry interior vegetation zone uh, that the desert and semi desert shrubs are found then alpine cold deserts are there then steppe anti uh, grasslands are there uh, some spell mistakes are there i think and then alpine meadows and scrubs are found there in then the dry mountain forest steppe and desert complex are also reported there in okay then we have next uh, vegetation vegetation zone that is moist coastal vegetation zone and uh, it is uh, having sub alpine coniferous forests with warm temperate and sub tropical hardwoods in uh, found in deep valleys okay then we have some boreal coniferous forest forms also then cool temperate mixed forest and uh, temperate deciduous forests and warm temperate mixed forest also subtropical evergreen forests and then tropical monsoon forests and this is hierarchy as similar in india also right then we have uh, uh, some more descriptions about china and based on the physical divisions the vegetation of china can be studied along the following regions okay uh, number 1 is northeast china and it Uh, it is dominated by picea avis pinus and larix species and uh, uh, almost boreal forests are dominant here 
and it is graded as sub alpine coniferous forest in the mountains to the south okay then we have huang ho valley and this region is almost treeless due to great biotic pressures right then we have third uh, uh, division that is eastern central china and uh, here the climate is hot humid with uh, some is main species like oak castania pines cryptomeria and some others right then we have southern china and it is dominated by green broad leaved forests and uh, it is in the form of broad belt of subtropical forest right then we have coastal region and it supports a sparse growth of cocos species that is intermixed with terminalia and various other species right but mainly terminalia is there with cocos right uh, in coastal region then we have a west central china region and it is mostly mountainous region with almas with the species like almas tamarics poplars and some conifer species also right here we have forest based industries and uh, it is uh, here lumbering industry as mentioned uh, in number first and it is well developed in china lumber uh, was used for house construction mostly uh, hand sawing to resolve the labor, uh, labor problem as the population of china is <coughs> quite large in world and uh, uh, the industries those are forest or some others would definitely be labor oriented also and uh, hand sawing um, was preferred there in due to this region okay and uh, earlier 10 or 11000 um, 10 to 11000 saw mills uh, uh, in operations um, but nowadays i think this number has been increased by the days okay then we have second number uh, this is pulp industry and it is a substantial quantity of uh, bamboo and wood pulp is produced in china and earlier it was major importer of paper and uh, related products but most of the paper and pulp industries are located in central and southern china part and uh, kanangamia is the fast growing high cellulose pulp producer species that is used for this purpose okay then we have fuel wood and charcoal uh, and a large quantity of fuel wood and charcoal consumed each year in china especially for domestic cooking and heating purposes okay and energy requirement of some rural industries and agriculture processing units but i think it is nowadays replaced by electricity and lpg gas and several other means okay uh, to reduce the pressure of on forest right next we have some miscellaneous uh, forest based industries also in china and these are here and uh, number one of them is tang oil uh, it is a uh, wood oil that is produced from aluritus fordi uh, aluritus montana and aluritus cordata okay the and main uh, tang oil producing centers are situated in yangtze valley right then we have vegetable tallow and uh, Sapiens sevifarum is the most prominent vegetable tallow and uh, vegetable tallow is a fatty hard fatty substance and it occurs in the warm regions fruits are dried and tallow is produced from them right next we have camphor uh, based industry and it is uh, obtained from cinnamomum camphora and uh, it is found in uh, southern china and the tree is valued both for its wood and camphor crystals right then we have lacquer uh, it is a type of varnish that is prepared from the sap of rus of vinici flua and the tree is widely cultivated in central china and uh, lacquer is used in handicrafts wood marks woodworks and for various interior decoration purposes right then we have incense and the best incense is prepared from the sap of liquid amber formosana and its wood is also used for making tea chests and high quality furnitures right then we have tea oil and it is a type of hair oil that is extracted from the seeds of thea oleosa and the tree is widely cultivated in various parts of china right and the next one we have wax and it is produced from an insect Uh, which is thrives on the fragrinous chinensis and uh, ligustrum lucidum uh, trees right 
then we have next few industries these are here tannin at number 8th and this is obtained from the bark of oak chestnut and hemlock right it is also produced from the leaves of rus uh, potentini and rus chinensis okay here uh, these have to be italicized okay then next we have edible fungi and it is cultivated largely on southern and central china in uh, southern and central china region and on the mostly on the dead branches or logs of pine and oaks okay it is considered to be a delicacy among the urban elites okay to use these uh, edible fungus right next we have cork and it is produced from the bark of quercus uh, variabilis and philodendron amurensis and various other species right then we have dyeing material and various of dye uh, variety of dyes those are mostly in the parts of, of central china are produced from sophora japonica platycara store strobilaceae right then we have cassia bark and the bark of cinnamomum cassia is valued as a tonic or stimulant in chinese medicine system right this is a brief account of china its forest resources and forestry practices thank you